Hey, what is going down, guys? My name is Flandies, and man, do I have a really, really awesome video for you guys today. And I know I may say that a lot, but this one today is actually really, really cool and something a little bit different than I usually do on my channel. Basically, today, I'm going to be going over a theory that I personally made up using many different types and forms of information, and I'm going to be putting it all together to make a theory for a possible Black Ops 2 Zombies map. So I hope you guys can stick along for the ride, and let's get right into it. So over the last couple of days, we've been seeing leaked information, and leaked is kind of a bad word, but I guess secret information coming from one man and one man only, and that is the Twitter of Jimmy Zelensky, one of the head developers of Black Ops 2 Zombies, and it's come in the form of him changing his Twitter bio. For the span of about three or four months, it was the Wikipedia page for Shangri-La, the Shangri-La map of Call of Duty Black Ops, and a couple days ago, he changed it to the Wikipedia page for the Manhattan Project, and then like a day or two ago from the time I'm doing this video, he changed it to a Wikipedia page for a guy named Gary Zukov. Now, we don't care about Shangri-La or Gary Zukov right now. I want to deal with the Manhattan Project. Now, this is definitely really important. We've seen it hinted on in a couple of maps. In Kino D'Artone, there's a room where we see Manhattan Down spelled out. It's like one of the tips at the bottom of the screen when you start up a zombies game. So this Manhattan Project and Manhattan Down, we've been seeing it in Black Ops and World at War Zombies all the time. So, I decided to go a little in-depth with it. I've been looking up different zombies forms, trying to find an answer for what this Manhattan Project has anything to do with Black Ops 2 Zombies, and I was kind of given a hint to look at the leaked achievements for Black Ops 2. Now, for any of you guys that don't know, this is all leaked, unconfirmed, just speculated information, but there was a leak of about 50 achievements from Black Ops 2, not confirmed at all, I have to say that, and it dealt with Black Ops 2 multiplayer, Black Ops 2 campaign, and also Black Ops 2 Zombies, and that's what we're mainly going to be focusing on. And one of the achievements I was, I guess you could say, hinted to look at was number 48. It was called Green Run Side Quest. And the achievement is pretty much just described as complete the Green Run Side Quest. So I was trying to find a link for a while between the Manhattan Project and the Green Run Side Quest. And I think I finally found it. So I searched up Green Run on Google and I didn't get any results. And then I guess I randomly searched up the Green Run and I got a result. So this is a Wikipedia page titled Green Run. And it reads off, The Green Run was a secret U.S. government release of radioactive fission products on December 2nd to 3rd, 1949 at the Hanford Site Plutonium Production Facility. So that's really interesting, but nothing there had any kind of link to the Manhattan Project, and that was what I was really looking for from this Wikipedia page. So right as I was about to exit out and look for some other connection, I decided to just humor myself by clicking on the Hanford Site Plutonium Production Facility. So I clicked on it, and it brought me to this page. And I'll just read off to you guys a quick little summary of the Hanford site. It says, The Hanford site is a mostly decommissioned nuclear production complex on the Columbia River in the U.S. state of Washington, operated by the United States federal government. The site has been known by many names, and it just reads off the multiple nicknames for the site. And it goes on to say, Established in 1943 as part of the Manhattan Project in the town of Hanford in south-central Washington. The site was home to the B reactor, the first full-scale plutonium production reactor in the world. Plutonium manufactured at the site was used in the first nuclear bomb tested at the Trinity site, and in Fat Man, the bomb detonated over Nagasaki, Japan. So there is the so desired connection between the Green Run side quest and the Manhattan Project that I was looking for all along. It's in the site known as the Hanford site, which is pretty much where they operated, they produced plutonium that was used on the atomic bomb that was dropped at Nagasaki, Japan. So there we go. Now we finally have a connection between the Green Run side quest leaked Black Ops 2 Zombies achievement, the Green Run operation in real life, and the Manhattan Project, and they're all related through this Hanford site building. For the Green Run operation, the Hanford site was where the radioactive fissions were released at, and for the Manhattan Project, this Hanford site was where they developed and held the plutonium that was used in the atomic bomb that was dropped on Nagasaki, Japan. Japan. 
And there's even more hinting at Nazi zombies in the passage. It reads off towards the end under the Manhattan Project section on the Hanford site page. The program was accelerated in 1942 as the United States government became concerned that scientists in Nazi Germany were developing a nuclear weapons program as well. So obviously we know some Nazi Germany scientists. Rick Toffen, one of the main characters in Black Ops and World at War Zombies, was a Nazi Germany scientist. We have Ludwig Maxis, pretty much all of Group 935. We've seen some of these Nazi Germany scientists before. So is that an obvious hint at Black Ops 2 Zombies? Is that an obvious hint at Nazi Zombies in general? I guess that's for you guys to decide. So now moving on to the theory part of this video where I kind of discuss how this information could all fit into a possible Black Ops 2 Zombies map and point at a location. I want to talk about the Hanford site. So for all of you guys that are informed with the Black Ops storyline, you would know it ends on the map Moon with Ludwig Maxis, the actual father of Samantha Maxis, launching three rockets filled with the element 115, the element that creates and turns people into zombies on planet Earth. He launched them at three critical locations with three rockets. Now we're not exactly sure why he launched those rockets at the specific place he chose. He didn't know that the rockets had element 115 on them, or at least that's what we think. So we're not really a hundred percent sure why he chose to launch the three rockets at the positions that he did. But the kind of theory in the community and the one that a lot of people are embracing at this point is he launched them at areas where element 115 was active and could be used to turn people into zombies or create new zombies because Ludwig Maxis actually wanted to stop Edward Richthofen from creating even more zombies to add to his undead army. So if he were to actually launch those rockets at locations where 115 was active, maybe he launched it at the Hanford site. Now if you guys read on through this article about the Hanford site, there are more elements listed in this article than I can name. There's plutonium, just tons and tons of elements. So maybe for the sake of Nazi zombies, element 115 was accidentally or purposely involved in this operation at the Manhattan Project and at the Hanford site. We don't know if maybe they wanted to experiment with zombies, maybe they thought it would serve some kind of purpose with the atomic bomb, maybe it would serve some kind of purpose with the plutonium. We don't really know, but let's just say that there's element 115 at this Hanford site. Maybe Ludwig Maxis is going to launch one of those rockets at the Hanford site in southwest Washington. I think that's where it's located. And he's trying to wipe out all the element 115 out of that site. Now, since there's actually element 115 on board of the rockets, that's obviously not going to happen. It's only going to create more zombies than we've ever seen before. So maybe now our zombie slayers, our four main characters, maybe even eight, including the 4Z4 zombies mode, are going to have to go to the Hanford site in Washington and take out all the zombies because obviously if a rocket hits with 115, the amount of zombies spreading at this Hanford site if the rocket was launched there is just going to spiral out of control and it's just going to be crazy. So leave me your comments about all this down in the comment section below. I will leave all the links to the Wikipedia pages I talked about in this video down in the description below. So if you guys want to go check those out, maybe form your own opinions or theories on everything I talked about in this video, that'd be absolutely great. This video did take a lot of work and it did take a lot of time to put together the theory, record the commentary, get the gameplay, all of that stuff. So a like really would be appreciated. I think this is one of my best videos I've made in a while and it'd be awesome if we get maybe 260, 270, maybe even 300 likes on it. That would just be out of this world. So my name is Flannies. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace out guys. Have a nice day.